the reason I'm telling you this story is a lot of you are going to find yourself embedded in bureaucracies and you know, and there's that for better or for worse and one of the things that are going to, is going to happen to you is that people are going to ask you to do stupid and ridiculous things and the fact that they're asking you to do stupid and ridiculous things is going to do two things, three things to you one is it'll warp you so that you'll pretend that you agree with it and then eventually you will and like good so much for your soul and then the other thing is, is that it'll demotivate you because you'll think why should I be like slaving away at this job when you know I'm being pecked to death by morons with stupid rules and um, the third thing that it'll do is make you resentful and irritated and that will also undermine your motivation and make your life miserable and so you might think well what should you do about that and the answer to that is you should object at the earliest possible point because first of all you'll find that if you do if you object to radical stupidity when it first emerges you kind of make people aware of the fact that what they're doing is radically stupid and they'll usually back off and so then they won't torture you to death so you know you have to take a risk which is oh no what happens if I complain about this but you know it's another one of those situations where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't so if you complain that'll cause some trouble although usually it causes way less trouble than you'd think because people are generally not very courageous and if you push them with some strength on a when they're doing something absolutely moronic they'll usually back off because they don't know what to do when they're being challenged and then you won't have to put up with it for the rest of your life and so why I'm telling you this is because all sorts of bureaucratic uh, entities corporations, government institutions um, non-profit organizations, anything that's above a certain size because it doesn't matter if it's government or corporate it's all the same bloody foolishness when it gets too big is like those things tend towards totalitarian structures it's part of it's part of their, the innate danger that's associated with social organization and so then you might say well how do you keep the enterprise that you're part of alive and dynamic and also keep it a place that a sensible person who's got who's got a proper orientation could stand to work and the answer is do not do things you know to be stupid stand up and say look that's dumb I'm not doing it and if they ask you why then you can say well A I think it's stupid B if I do it I'm going to get irritated and resentful and also if I do it it's going to decrease my motivation so I'm not doing it and then if they push you too hard it's like hey it's time for a different job and that might be the best thing that ever happened to you because if the, the structure you're in is going in that direction and you can't stop it it's like get the hell out of there and find something else so it's not that hard to find a job when you already have a job that's another thing to keep in mind too you know whenever you're working and you will be especially in the world the, the world of today where jobs are relatively uncertain is you should always have an escape route planned and it should be active because if you don't have an escape route and you can't get away you can't say no and if you can't say no you can't bargain and if you can't bargain you're a slave